This video is how to set your limit switches for an ES1600 or ES1602 gate opener. First, you want to manually release your arm. Start with your gate in the closed position. You should already have power applied to your board and your motor wires and limit wires wired per the manual for either pull to open or push to open. We're going to use our buzzer to indicate the open limit switch. The wire that is in the first terminal, we have it set up for pull to open, is your open limit switch. We're going to take the switch out and clip the bare end to the buzzer and put the other lead of the buzzer Yeah. put the other lead of the buzzer into the terminal. You should now hear a buzzing noise from your buzzer. Slowly move your gate towards the open position. If you hear the buzzer stop, make note of this. Also make note of it if you reach the open position and the buzzer does not stop. In our scenario, we would like the gate to open a little bit further for the open position, so I'm going to continue to push the arm in. Notice that the buzzer has come back on. This will tell us whether we have to have the gate open more or open less by adjusting the limit screw. We're going to take the cap off the end of the arm. And you'll notice two screws, one marked FCC, one marked FCA. The FCA screw adjusts the limit switch towards the base of the arm when the arm is retracted. For pulled open, that is your open limit switch. We are going to turn the FCA screw counterclockwise so that the gate can open more. We're going to turn this screw until we no longer hear this buzzing. If you feel resistance, you want to stop turning. The buzzer is now stopped. This means we have adjusted the limit switch to move further towards the base of the arm to match up with where our arm is in the open position that we want. We can now place the yellow wire back in the terminal. We are going to repeat this procedure for the closed position. The third limit switch terminal is your closed limit. For pull to open, it's going to have the black wire in there. Take the wire from that terminal and connect it to the alligator clip. Take the other wire and put it into the terminal. Now repeat the same thing, but move your gate towards the closed position. In this scenario, we are at the desired closed position, but we never heard the buzzer go off. This means we want the gate to close less. We're going to adjust the FCC screw because that is the limit switch that is out towards the end of the arm when the piston is extended. And we are going to adjust the FCC screw counterclockwise to make the gate close less. Remember, do not overturn the limit switch screw. They do have limits to their adjustments. You'll feel resistance when it's at the end of its adjustment. If you've reached the adjustment and you haven't reached the position where you need it to be to trigger when the gate is open or closed, your setback needs to be adjusted. Please see the setback section of your manual. The buzzing is stopped. We now have the limit switch in the correct position for the length of the arm that is extended to get the correct closed position for our gate. We can now take the wire off the alligator clip and put it back in the terminal. You can repeat this procedure for a dual gate for the second limit switch block if you have a dual gate. You can repeat this procedure for the second limit switch block if you have a dual gate.